TYT Sports, talking boxing with the guy, Robert Exel, editor-in-chief of Boxing.com. Robert, how's it going? It's going great, Rick. And you? Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing good. We got a loaded, loaded fight. It is Vitaly Klitschko. Thomas Odemic. They're calling this the biggest fight in Polish boxing history. 42,000 fans. But it is in Poland. A lot of pressure comes with that. Is it all on Odemic? I don't think so. I think there's pressure on both fighters. I think there's pressure any time any, anytime anybody climbs through the ropes, there's pressure. There's pressure in boxing like there's pressure in no sport on earth. So uh, there's, there's pressure on both of them. But Odemek, I mean, at least we'll have the, have, have the crowd behind them, uh, which uh, whatever pressure there might be, I think that will alleviate the pressure because he knows he's fighting amongst his fans. Let's give you the tail of the tape right now. Vitaly Klitschko, 42-2, 39 knockouts has the clear advantage in height, in weight. Thomas Odemic, 44-1, 28 knockouts. Klitschko is 40 years old. Odemic's 34. And as I said, he is the smaller man, but he has the speed. Will that be the deciding factor in him staying in the fight? Well, I think speed will certainly be a factor. I mean, he needs to sort of get in, get into the pocket, fire away at his punches, and then get out of the pocket. I mean, he's certainly not going to stand there and trade with Klitschko. He's going to have to use his speed. He's going to have to move. He's going to have to make Klitschko move. And Klitschko will not really want to move. He'll just want to sort of fire away his, his powerful punches and try to catch his, uh, his opponent. But um, if Adamek is smart, and I think he is a smart fighter, he's going to get in, fire away, and get out. We'll get to your prediction in a minute. Let's say that Klitschko wins this fight. Does he retire after this fight, or do you give him another fight or two and then he's done? Well, he has said that he he's good for two or three more fights, and then he's going to retire. Uh, he's interested in really running for the uh, presidency of the Ukraine. Uh, like Pacquiao, he's a very sort of political animal, and he sees his future in politics. When he's very involved in politics, he, I mean, he ran for mayor of Kiev and and lost. But I mean, his uh, his interests extend beyond boxing, to his credit. So uh, he says two or three more fights. Um, he still would like to. Uh, he used to like to fight David Hay um, and teach him a lesson. Um, so Klitschko is not done yet. The first ever pay-per-view event held in Poland will be this fight. Ademek's career as a heavyweight, undefeated, 6-0. and He's worked up the ranks. Aside from speed, what has been the key to this success? Well, he is a tough guy. He is a tough guy. He's a good fighter. He's a smart fighter. I mean, he can box. He can punch. Um, he, he brought himself up to the heavyweights in an intelligent way. Um, you know, uh, worked his way up. Got, fought, kept fighting guys who were bigger and bigger and bigger in anticipation of fighting the Klitschkos. I mean, he's just a smart fighter, and he's been a, and whoever's managing him is a smart. They've managed him smartly as well. Um, so I think he's as ready for uh, Klitschko as he's ever going to be, and uh, Saturday night is his chance. All right, Robert, in the end, who wins this fight? What is the outcome? Well, uh, I believe uh, Klitschko is going to win, and I think Klitschko is going to win by an early stoppage. He is the editor-in-chief of Boxing.com, Robert Exel. Robert, thank you very much for the My time. My pleasure. I'll talk to you soon.